Interactions determine the dynamic behavior of your widgets and pages. It is how you can specifically define your animations and transitions for your prototype. The home page once again and see what functionality actually exists on the page. In the header, we've got a help drop down. Join us takes us to a page. Sign up opens up a pop up. The menu drop downs. And then search opens up a different view. Cool. And we have a slider. So let's fire up Axure and start to build those out. The first thing is going to be the help dropdown. So I'm going to copy the text so I can use it in the file. Copy. Then I need a box that's going to be a background and label. Press enter, paste. Then what I, what I want to do is to separate each text link so that I can apply uh, individual styling effects. So control X, click outside the canvas, and then paste one. So I'm going to do that for each line. Position it down there. Let's just drag all these pieces here. Okay, now what I want to do is to start styling the help drop down, which looks like that, right? So, help uh, title looks a bit big, and we're going to give it a font size of about 18. Whereas the rest. Can slightly sit around there and let's bring send us maybe somewhere there and let's select all the text links and we're gonna align left and help and align left then we are going to distribute it or uh, vertically next up we're gonna just make it a bit tighter in terms of the border and what you'll notice is there's a rounded corners and no border so I'm gonna select the background go over to style tab go under to corner radius and um, let's try out 10 I think that looks fine and let's kill the border maybe let's leave the border let's put in like a lighter gray a6 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 okay so far so good and then let's add some styling effects so on mouse over what happens is it becomes black so we want our font color to be black and let's take a look at the preview Cool. let's say okay and then this original color for text should be a darker gray I'm gonna use the a6 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 and kind of happy with this let's just bring this up a little bit more make it a bit more smaller cool so in the end I've got width of 209 and height of 304 that's select all of this and create a dynamic panel and we're going to name this dynamic panel help drop down next up we're going to position our drop down so just cut it from the page command x and we're going to jump into the master to where help sits, the help link sits right over here. Let's just move this in a bit more. Let's move this in a bit more. Okay, so that sign in just sits on the guide there. All right, 
Okay, and then control paste. And let's drag it to about there. That's where we want it to show up. And then let's add interactions to our help link. So what we want to happen is on mouse over, the dropdown should show. So what you do is on interactions, you click on new interaction. And we're going to use mouse enter. Okay, when we when the mouse goes over help, we want to show the dynamic panel that we just created. So help drop down and show. It's the first tab here. And let's animate it by sliding down. That duration is going to be 500 milliseconds. That sounds okay. And when the mouse leaves, so we're going to add another interaction. When the mouse exits, we're going to hide, help drop down. So select hide from this from these three tabs, and we're going to slide up. So just the reverse and say okay. And then for our initial state, we are going to change this. This is not going to be visible the first time round. So to hide it, you right click on the dynamic panel and set to hidden. And then let's go back to our home page and preview this. So if we mouse over help, our help dropdown comes up. If we move off, then it disappears. Awesome. It's working well.